Good morning, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you the weekly reading for the week commencing November 21st through the 25th of 2022. We're going to go ahead and dive into this energy, okay? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. I'm going to kind of change it up this week um, with the weekly reading. Usually I do is like the overall energy, but um, I'm going to try something different that um, Victoria, my personal assistant, had made a recommendation uh, to me. We always try to go over new ideas, um, you know, to bring certain things to the channel. We do a lot of brainstorming together. So what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to test out the energies. Um, so basically, um, we're going to look at the overall energy for Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so just for this whole entire week, the 21st through the 25th of 2022. Okay, so we're going to start off with Monday's energy. Okay. And I cannot believe it is the last day of Scorpio season. Happy birthday to all of the Scorpios born on November 21st. Um, being on that cusp line uh, into Sagittarius season. So hope you guys all have a wonderful birthday today. And um, thank you for your presence here on the channel, of course. So thank you. Let's take a look at the overall energy from Monday, the 21st of 2022. We got the power of number six. We can see the lover's card kick in. Some of you are dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini born in the month of June. Ooh, that was a three. Power of number eight. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of of August. So we could see the strength card kick in. I'm also picking up on the eight of wands, rapid fire communication, or something about travel this week. Or maybe you're traveling today, Scorpio. Power of number two, we could see the high priestess. Something about trusting your intuition. Uh, you may be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius born in the month of February. Adding up the power of the numbers brings us to the number 16, which is the tower card. I don't know. There might be a tower moment that could happen today or a revelation, a wake up call. Or sometimes I even look at the tower card as a major breakthrough. Could be a surge of energy that you may also kind of get like maybe a boost in your step today, Scorpio, especially if you've been feeling under the weather. Um, power of number one in there as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Seeing the power of number 12, you could be dealing with a Pisces straight up. We could see the hanged man card. And power of number 18, the moon. Well, you know, Monday is ruled by the planetary energy, quote unquote, of the moon. M the moon rules over the fourth house of the zodiac, which is the sign of cancer. Okay. So, and sometimes, yes, Piscean or Scorpio energy can come through the moon card, but mostly I associate it because of the numbers, Cancerian energy. And there might be a revelation or maybe you will... Hear about a secret, possibly today. We'll see. We'll see what the overall energy is for Monday the 21st. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Trusted ancestors, what is the overall energy of this day of Monday, November 21st of 2022 within this overall energy of the week? 
the two of cups. Somebody wants to reunite with you or they're thinking about you, Scorpio. Somebody's all up in their feelings or emotions of today about you or you could be wondering today like when you're going to see your specific person again. Somebody's in love with you. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also have the imagery of the lion. So you could also be dealing with the Leo. Message from the Two of Cups. What is this? You. Some of you may get an apology today, Scorpio. Or somebody wants to ask you out. It could be a flirtatious text message or a voicemail, phone call, DM. It could happen through Instagram, Facebook, regular text message, regular phone call, um, Snapchat, whatever the case may be. Somebody here is wanting to apologize or they're wanting to say, hi, how are you? What's going on? Okay. So let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is the hidden truth of this Two of Cups for the day commencing for November 21st of 2022? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So somebody could have let you go before in the past, Scorpio. I feel that somebody here is being highly reminiscent or you might have walked away from somebody because of a third party situation. What is this rightfully owed apology? Show me the truth. You came closer than anyone. So, yes, yeah, somebody here on today's date is they're all up in their feelings about you. You came closer than anyone, Scorpio, of course, because you're, you know, you're good. You're kosher. All right. You're a shining star. It's not all uncommon, you know, even in my personal readings or even in a general collective reading that, you know, even though the star card isn't here, I'm picking up on the star card energy. Yes, you're a shining star, Scorpio. You've been through a lot of mountains and molehills in your life. You've had a lot of adversities and challenges along your life's path or your journey. And you're becoming more and more like a fine wine, Scorpio. So I feel like this person, they're all up in their feelings today. And the moon is represented by divine feminine energy. Okay, it's the emotional aspect. So yeah, somebody's all up in their feelings today for you. Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Trusted ancestors, what is the hidden truth of this person's energy and to Scorpio for today that... You don't know how hard it was uh, to let you go. This person, what is this? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this person has not lost attraction for you, Scorpio. Bottom line. Some of you could be working the law of attraction in order to draw this specific person onto you, which could end up manifesting through this energy I'm getting here through the Page of Cups. What is this overall message of you came closer than anyone? <laughs> True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So you guys, this person that you've been thinking about, they are your soulmate. And like I said, they could, here's the flirt card on the bottom of the deck. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. The bottom line is this person, I said that they could end up sending you a small text message. It could be a phone call, a DM, whatever. It could just be like, you know, Hey, what's up? You know, very short, sweet and simple or something flirtatious or high, beautiful, high, handsome, high, sexy. You know, it's, it kind of has that overall feeling or vibe. I don't feel this person has fallen out of love with you, Scorpio. Not at all. Nope. This is a romance of a lifetime and this person knows it. Let's move into Tuesday's energy. Power of number seven. No, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Number eight. I 
again, it could be a Leo or a Virgo you could be dealing with that's born in the month of August. It doesn't have to be. Power of number nine, we could see the Hermit card also kick in. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Somebody's been in that deep-seated reflection about you. I say so because it's already coming up in Monday's energy. Power of number eight, eight, nine, eight. So um, I'll go back and you guys can Google the angel number. So for Monday, Monday's angel number is 682. And Tuesday for November 22nd, 2022 is 898. Okay, Toto, you're being rude. Stop. No, this is the time that we record. No, no. Stop getting frustrated with me. Mm. She's upset about something. All right, that's enough. Okay, adding up the numbers here. So it looks like we are going to the power of number 25. Okay. Okay, do you need to sit on my lap again? Can I shuffle the deck, please? I can get through this. Oh, my God. Come here. Come here. Otherwise, go under the table. Yep. She does this to me every day, you guys. Doesn't matter if we're on vacation. Doesn't matter if we're home. Oh, my God. Power number 25, you guys. For Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow, cards are flying. Something about Tuesday's energy is kind of jumpy. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Trusted ancestors are my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. <coughs> Excuse me. What is the overall general collective energy for the day commencing for Tuesday, November 22nd of 2022? The moon card, interesting. Okay, there could be something here about secrets. Secrets that might end up getting revealed unto you, Scorpio. Let's see what this moon energy is all about. What is the moon? The hanged man, sign of Pisces energy coming in. You may be feeling a little bit stuck or hanging in suspension here, waiting for something to happen, or somebody's keeping your emotions on hold. Now, whether or not this has to do with somebody's text message that may come in, possibly for some of you guys on Monday, okay, um, you might hold back. Some of you may hold back from responding to this person, okay? So Tuesday's energy... Something's hidden. I got two major arcanas going on. What is the secrets? What are what is the hidden emotions? Let's go into the hidden truth. What is the hidden truth of the moon? I want to be more than friends. So this person who is hiding behind the scenes right now, this specific person there. I feel like they're coming into this awakening that they know that yes, flat out black and white. They want to be more than just friends, or this could be somebody else who has had their eye on you, Scorpio. You might hear it through. I heard, I'm hearing the song. I heard it through the grapevine. You might hear it through somebody else this week. Okay. What is this suspended energy? I feel like it's this other person. I couldn't let you get close to me. So this person is conflicted. Somebody here is conflicted big time. They want you 
and yet they're holding back. This could be some form of insecurity. Do I let this per do I let Scorpio come towards me or do I push Scorpio away? You know, so that could be that domino effect or that chain reaction of how you feel about this person. This person could have made you feel this way in the past, but it, some of this residual energy I feel is still happening in the here and the now. Okay. So they want more. This person is conflicted. Why is this person conflicted? Let's go to the Romance Angels deck. New love. Okay. They want to be more than friends. So if you were already involved with this person before, it's like they want a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. Or like I said, there could be somebody else who has had their eye on you, Scorpio. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Or they're looking at you, Scorpio, as being like refreshed or renewed or you're a different person now. Something could be attracting whatever's going on in your energy could be attracting them back unto you. And it could be because you had the strength or the courage for some of you guys in certain situations to boldly and confidently walk away from a particular situation. Now it's like I'm hearing, again, I'm hearing the Jackson 5 in my head again. I want you back. Okay. So why didn't, why is this person in suspension here? And why are they having a hard time? It's like uh, trusted ancestors. This person wants Scorpio, but they're holding back. They don't want Scorpio to get close to them, but they want to be more in the friends. Why is this person so conflicted? Children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you guys may have children with this person. Otherwise, man, this person. Okay. Um, okay. They're saying childlike behavior. This person needs to grow up. You could be a dog owner, Scorpio, or your person is a dog owner, or both of you love animals. Or this person has a child. They could have a boy and a girl twin. Or your person is a twin. I heard the phrase stars in their eyes. I don't know why. Stars in their eyes. Children. Believe as a child believes. Or this person has some form of quote unquote hope when they should really have faith that things could actually work out with you. What is this child energy? Empress. Yeah. See that. Look at that. That's motherhood. Okay. They view you as the emperor or the empress. Okay. So, but when we're talking about children, you could be pregnant with this person's child or they want to build a family here with you. And it's like, they couldn't let you get close to them because I feel they're intimate. They've been intimidated by you for a while, Scorpio. Some of you may have blonde hair more specifically. Or your person has blonde hair, picking up curly hair, wavy hair. See, the Empress is all about big. I mean, we're talking big new beginnings, new ideas. So something is stewing and brewing in this person. They're going back and forth. The, there's, the word is insecurity I'm picking up here. This person is very much insecure. And they're battling emotionally. I feel sorry for them. Clarifying the Empress. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So well, you know what that tells me? This person somewhere in the mix of it all got their karma. So if they were with the third party or they got somebody else knocked up, whatever the case may be, they got their karma. 
I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. Three of swords in the reverse. Somebody's going through a healing process. This could have been you before in the past, Scorpio, or now they're going through a healing process. Maybe because something didn't work out. Now they want to have this new beginning. They want to be more than friends. They're holding this energy back. <coughs> Excuse me. They're holding this energy back. And I feel like this person doesn't know what to do with themselves. You know, for them, they just might need a tower moment. They just might need it to be like, oh, my God, I see the light. Oh, my God. Why didn't I think this before? Or this is my person. Now I know they're the one. You know what I mean? It's, it's like I'm hearing Stevie Wonder sign sealed delivered on yours. Okay, so that's where the energy that this person has to get to. And they've been holding back all of his feelings. But you know what? When somebody holds feelings back for so long, what happens? You're just going to bust, baby. You're going to bust open. All right? Let's move on to Wednesday's energy. This person is highly conflicted. Like I said, I feel sorry for them. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. They all come running back, you guys. Let's take a look at the overall energy for Wednesday, November 23rd of 2022. Power of number five. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. So we could see the Hierophant kick in. Power of number seven. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. So we could see the chariot card and number five. So Wednesday's uh, angel number is five, seven, five. Okay. Brings us to the power of number 17. What is number 17 in tarot? You guys, if you're paying attention, the star card, let's keep our fingers crossed that that energy comes up because that's about healing, cleansing, renewal, reconciliation, rising to the top, you going after your passions, dreams, and goals, or you're going to get this. I feel like you guys are going to get the surge of energy. Sagittarius, we're headed into the Sagittarius season here within a day and 24 hours. And some of you guys are already hit up uh, Sagittarius season on the other side of the world. Um, I feel like you're going to, the Sagittarius energy is going to hit us Scorpios up and we're going to be so driven like we're going to, I feel like some of us are going to be setting boundaries with our time. We're going to be more assertive, firm, loving, and yet assertive. That's kind of how I'm feeling here. And a lot of research, knowledge, and education. And that is what the energy of Sagittarius can also bring in as well. Okay. Power of number 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy? For Wednesday, November 23rd of 2022, what does Scorpio need to know for that day? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Patience, an ebb and flow. You are highly spiritually protective. Some of you guys may go into a meditative state on Wednesday. It could be while you're awake, but your mind is, I feel like your mind might be somewhere else or you're daydreaming or you're daydreaming about your future or you're manifesting in your mind about this specific person or somebody's going to come in for reconciliation. Okay. Some of you are dealing again, straight up with the Sagittarius for some of you. Okay. What is this energy of Sagittarius coming in through temperance? What is this reconciliation? Two of cups wanting to kick back in. So two of cups energy, I feel now that we've seen this card twice, to me, it's dominating the overall energy of the week. 
somebody needs to see you face to face or they're going to come together with you or they're going to say they want to meet up. This person may want to reconcile with you this week. Okay, so let's take a look at the hidden truth. Message from the sign of Sagittarius with temperance. What is the hidden truth? I feel you even though we are apart. So again, somebody's all up in their feelings. This person could be at a physical distance uh, from you, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, I know I messed everything up. Mm-hmm. Show me the hidden truth of this two of cups, twin flame energy or soulmate. What is this? I hide who I really am from you. So what I'm feeling here is that this person with all of their emotions that has been coming up here in the cards is back and forth, uncertainty, insecurity, um, feeling conflicted. Yeah, they're, they're hiding behind their own mask. Who they really are, they, they, it, the vulnerability, the word vulnerability, I'm picking up from this person's higher self. They are vulnerable. I don't know what they're going through. They could go, be going through a split, a divorce, a separation. Um, you know, it almost kind of feels like this person a little bit, even though they have people around them, it's like their energy is wandering. That's what I'm picking up. They're wandering. I just heard my uh, trusted ancestor say they don't know what is real or what isn't, but it almost feels like in that statement that I'm hearing that you may be the only thing that has ever walked into their life that actually made sense, Scorpio. Because this person wants to see you. Either they feel like you're slipping away from them or you're really moving on or they're feeling this energy disconnect, which is putting this person, I say, all up in their feelings, right? What is this hidden romantic truth of temperance and why this person... Still feels Scorpio, even though they are apart. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This person definitely is being reminiscent of the good times that they shared with you. Whether this they felt it on a physical, intimate level with you, or you guys went out on a date, you physically dated one another. This could have been the two of you um, being playful. Maybe you lived under the same roof with one another at one point in time. Or they could also be very reminiscent of the things that they also said to you before in the past and the things that they did not live up to. So their words not matching with their actions. Okay. Why is this person hiding who they really are from Scorpio? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. It's because they've never met anybody like you. See, it feels to me that everybody else that they have met or dated or have been out with, everybody's the same. They're mediocre. And there's something about you, Scorpio. It's like you've got that little something extra that, that other people do not have. Some of you may be thinking, is it a blessing or a curse? You can't look at it that way. Look at it as, you know, just flat out, look at it as a blessing. Scorpio, if you feel you know who you are and you have been a thousand percent transparent and authentic with everybody who is coming to your life, including this person, and you're getting blessed, you're on the right path. This person, I feel, could not level up or measure up to whatever they thought your expectations were. Even if you didn't state any expectations of this person, 
you were trying to extract, this is what I'm hearing from spirit. You were trying to extract answers out of this person at one point in time and to be like, wait a minute, you're telling me that you love me or you say you want to be with me. And, and then it's like either they went radio silent on you or they just weren't saying anything at all. I mean, it's like this person shut down. I don't, I, I honestly, I feel sorry for people who cannot express their emotions. That's a sad state of affairs. Emotion, not, we're not just thoughts, we are feeling. How can you not be expressive? It is our human nature to be expressive to hear our own voice, to evolve emotionally. That's why it blows my mind away when people who are habitual liars, why? It, it, you know, I, I go through that too, you guys. I People who lie their asses off. It's because, again, they hide who they are. They don't like vulnerability. And it could be definitely because of the way that they were raised, I feel sorry for the men in the world because men are raised a particular way to act a particular way. They're not, men are raised not to show their feelings or emotions. It's difficult. That's where I empathize with the male psyche. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that that happens. But there are men who are sensitive. And a lot of times I feel that the, the reason why certain men are maybe more sensitive than others, it's because they might have, they might have had more women energy in and around them during the course of their life. So those men who actually might be just a little bit more sensitive and actually can honestly express more than likely, um, they had women that raised them solely. There might not have been a, a solid father figure, uh, in their life. So they may have a deeper understanding of the female energy or the female psyche. So there are men out there. They're just, I, I look at them more or less sometimes as the lucky ones, you know what I mean? But there, there's also kind of like a catch 22 because a lot of these men who might've been raised by women, there's so much into their emotions that they may shut down. You know what I'm saying? So this person didn't give you a solid chance or opportunity, Scorpio, to, for them to basically get to know you, okay? And they might not have had an open mind at that time. Maybe you thought differently. You, you thought outside of the box. Again, you're not the norm. A lot of you Scorpios are not the normal, and there's nothing, that, that's not saying there's anything wrong with you. This person has never experienced somebody different because everybody who's around them is the same. They're all false. They're all fake and they're mediocre. And a good part of those people that are surrounding your person are narcissists. So this person, for the energy that is showing me here for Wednesday, it's like they're wanting to come forward. They want to reconcile. I've got reconciliation energy not once but twice, temperance and the two of cups. But this person, they've been holding back because I think they're also part of them, It's and it's their ego, some of them are afraid to swallow their pride. They, uh, again, they don't want to look vulnerable. This is, this is the thing. Let's go into Thursday's energy. Power of number 12. We could see the hanged man card show up again. Some of you guys are dealing, might be dealing with a Pisces. 
power of number six, we could see the lover's card kick in. Again, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. I'm also picking up on the six of cups energy. Power of number four, we might see the emperor also kick in. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Okay, looks like... We are going to the power of number 22. So the angel number for Thursday's energy is 1264. 1264. Okay. So going to the power of number 22, let's see what the overall energy is for Thursday, the 24th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And 22, trusted ancestors are my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the overall general collective energy for the day commencing for Thursday, November 24th of 2022? Page of Pentacles. Communication. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for some of you. Somebody's going to reach out. Somebody wants to offer or give you a gift or they have a gift for you, Scorpio. But this is about communication. Wheel of Fortune, a fated turn of events, something unexpected, serendipity. Well, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, this energy would be ruled, this would be like Lady Fortuna energy plus the energy of Jupiter, okay? And Jupiter rules over the day of Thursday. Jupiter is about, the planet Jupiter, again, it's about growth, expansion, health, wealth, prosperity, your fame, your fortune, your success, doing things in a big way. Okay. So there's like a faded turn of events of something going on here, or it's going to be a sign or a synchronicity that you're going to get, or somebody's randomly going to message you out of the blue. That's what I'm picking up on. What is the hidden truth of this energy of the page of pentacles? And you know, it's interesting. This person that you're dealing with, they haven't come in as a king or a queen yet. They're all in page energy right now. What is the hidden truth or this message or somebody coming forward with a message towards Scorpio, please? My life is not as together as it seems. So they put up on, they, okay, this person has put up a facade, which means it goes back to that energy. They hide who they truly are from you and from other people. This person hasn't found who they are, who their true self is. This person's life may also be starting over from scratch, especially if they've gone through a divorce, a separation, or they're on the verge of a divorce they could have moved into their own house. Maybe they lived in a big house. Maybe they lived in a condo, an apartment, a regular house, a mansion, whatever. Um, and now they're starting small. They're, they're, they're starting small again and now having to also work their energy up and have it grow, like have it grow and expand. But this person's message or communication It's so weird. I feel like this person, well, I feel sorry for them that they can't get a grasp on their emotions here. That's what I feel sorry for them for. But I feel like whenever they've reached out before in the past, it's like they want you to feel sorry for them or something of that nature. I don't know. It's weird. It's really, really weird. But yet they suck your energy. And I feel like this person is a little bit of an energy vampire a bit. But I don't feel like it's so, mm, I don't necessarily feel like it's so tumultuous or anything like that. I just feel like this person, 
they're just battling, man. That's all I can say. I mean, they, ugh, this person's energy is frustrating the hell out of me. You don't even know. I can feel it. I can feel it, feel it, feel it. Their life is not as together as it seems. I think they're drumming that up in their head, to be honest with you. It's their insecurity. A lot of times we don't even know when we're going through insecurity. We're just going through the feeling. We're going through the feeling of something, that something feels off or something feels different. But something here, one, this person may also see you as their fate and their destiny. Destino Fortuna. Fortunate destiny. And this person may also reach out to you and tell you that they got their karma. They just might. And now their life may not be as together as it seems. With this Wheel of Fortune energy and the power of number 10, some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra born in the month of October, the earlier part of October. And or you could be dealing with another Scorpio born at the latter part of October. I will wait for a sign from you. See, this person knows that they're fated and destined to be with you. They know it. They walked away. They walked away at one point in time from their good fortune. This is the re this person's all up in their feelings. And remember, keep in mind, you guys, the holidays again have a way of getting people all into their feelings. Okay, they're in their feelings. What is the hidden truth of this page of pentacles? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. See, they might think that you actually have your spiritual life together, Scorpio, or that they know that you're intuitive. It literally could have been at one point in time. If you were dealing, dealing with somebody who had religious differences or religious, you know, like different beliefs, or this person views you as being spiritual, you never know. They might come to you if you're like a tarot reader or an oracle card reader. Who knows? They might even come to you and asking or humbling themselves and seeking some form of spiritual advice from you. But that's a very low percentage I'm picking up on in my head. It's like less. I'm seeing less than 13%, if not even less than that. Okay. So they're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for a sign, a synchronicity. Something that is going to solidify in their mind that they know that you are the one that they're meant to be with. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. See, they're waiting for a sign in order to put the energy forward. What they really should be doing is listening to that gut pull, that feeling, that stewing and brewing that's going on in their heart. It's their mind that has got to get organized here in order for them to make these big leaps or changes um, within this dynamic. It's like spirit may be trying to also to push them out of their comfort zone in order to get them. Well, you know, okay, they're coming in as a page. Better have them come in a page, I guess, at this point in time than to have them not reach out at all. Okay. However, um, th th this person, I, you know, yeah, they're. Mo I see a snail. I see a snail in my mind's eye. They're moving. <laughs> Escargot, baby. They're, they're moving like a snail. Okay. Um, some of you may live in Paris or want to go to Paris. Eiffel Tower. I saw the Eiffel Tower and the word Paris in my mind. Some of you guys had a past life in Paris. Um, and p picking up the, the year 1898, it's like 1897 to 1898, Paris. This person's waiting for a sign or synchronicity from the universe or little by little their spirituality this week is either opening up. Is that what I'm hearing? Their spirituality is opening up. Mm -hmm. 
show me the religious factors. Yeah, it just might be to get them out of some form of confusion or they're mentally feeling overwhelmed. And again, it's because their life is not as together as it seems. It's because spirit has also been tapping this person on the shoulder or on the head or trying to knock them on the head a bit to wake up that the way to get to everything good, it's not about a returning back to Jesus moment, okay? It is about inner consciousness. The crown chakra. Yeah, I just heard a I just heard the um the garbage trucks, the sound of the the thump. It's like that that to me was like the knock on the head from the spirits to this person. That the way to all keys of happiness is to tap into this higher wisdom, this higher knowledge into the pineal gland, into the crown chakra. Fully spiritually awakened and to get this person to stop doing the things that they're doing, to stop entertaining. That's what I'm hearing. Stop entertaining these people that have been in their life that have confused the effing hell out of them, you guys. Because these people are not consciously awakened. They are not spiritual. Okay. Embracing energy embracing the energy of the universe and becoming one with the universe. It's like becoming almighty and powerful within thyself. But they stayed, they've been staying around these low vibrational frequency peoples going out to the bars and I'm not anti bar. Some I'm just more or less anti ex, like excess when we overindulge overdo things. Okay. This person it's almost like they have a, a, a compulsive behavior about something. So their life is not together as it seems. It's because their spiritual life is not intact. They fell away from the divine universal code and wisdom. It, it is about the, it's not just about a God. It's a God and the goddess. We have to have the feminine and the masculine energy together to survive. We can't live. Our energy, our bodies, our spiritual bodies, and our physical bodies cannot live without the testosterone and the estrogen, okay? We got to have an equal balance. You know what I'm saying? Got to have an equal balance of those uh, energies. But this person, they know that you're also spiritual, or they sense something spiritual about you, or they know that you're intuitive and you can cut right through them. Like you see right through them. You see through their, their, their BS. And this person, that, that's another thing too that I feel that this person has been intimidated by you. It's like, how do you know what you know? So they're waiting, they're waiting on this sign of synchronicity from the universe in order to make this move. Let's take a look at Friday's energy to wrap up the reading. Just keep praying, meditate, listen to the guided meditations to draw on your specific person. And when you listen to them guided meditations, just let your mind relax. The predominant thought when you're listening to those guided meditations and you're thinking about somebody, listen, that person who you want to be with, they're already solidified in your subconscious mind. When we are relaxed and think of nothing and we allow those words from a guided meditation to embed into our, and remember 95% of our thoughts create a reality. And so when you're embedding those positive thoughts about your person. You are instantaneously shifting that vibrational frequency and you're shifting the acceptance of what you want your subconscious mind to believe. The story, it's the law of assumption. You've already, remember, you've already attracted this person. And this person, want, again, they want to come forward. We've already seen the two of cups, not once, but twice. Okay, so what you're doing is by listening to those guided meditations and being consistent with it, you are shifting that 
reality around you. Never underestimate the power of the subconscious mind, you guys. It is literally creating our reality in front of us. Okay, so you are in the driver's seat, okay? You're in the driver's seat, Scorpio. The more you think positively about this person and coming forward, the more at ease you can be and you might feel these past aggressions, the past pain, the past hurt start to alleviate off of you because if you're still in that energy, guess what? You're, sorry to say, but it's true. You're not going to be able to manifest this person accordingly. And their energy does want to come towards you. There's I, what I'm hearing from spirit. They're screaming on the inside to come towards you. Let's take a look at the overall energy for Friday, November 25th of 2022. So we got the power of number eight. Again, you may be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. For some of you. Ooh, power number eight again. I wonder if we'll get an 888. That would be fantastic. Uh, power number 10. Okay. So 8810. Some of you Scorpios could have been born in October of 1988 for some of you. Looks like we are going to power number 26. So 8810. 8810 is the Google that angel number. Uh, that is the overall angel number for that day. Okay. Number 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. All right, trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the overall general collective energy for Friday, November 25th of 2022, please? Something is going to have to try to get balanced out. This may be balancing out your schedule this week as well, Scorpio. Or it could be this person. This person's energy has been very strong within this week's reading. Okay, they may be trying to get out of a discombobulated situation or that to you. What is this? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it is about getting balanced. Here we go. Temperance coming in for the second time. Sagittarius energy you could be dealing with or another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for some of you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles. Stand strong and tall, Scorpio, this week. Go for your dreams right now. Or reroute your plans. If your business ideas or your plans have not exactly been working out the way that you want, sit yourself down and restructure. This is what I'm hearing off of the Nine of Pentacles. Focus in on you. When you focus in on you and your dreams and your goals, that is self-love. Okay? Yeah, so something here by Friday, uh, something's going to balance itself out. This could also be about a work environment situation that you've been going through, Scorpio. Some of you may have Friday off because of the holidays here in the United States with Thanksgiving. I heard the phrase, I wanted to check in on you. Could be a friend, a family member. Temperance. Let's see what the hidden truth of the two of pentacles is. I hide behind material things. Okay, so this person, this could be you, Scorpio, or it could be your person. They're masking over what I, I'm hearing flat out shopping. This person is trying to fulfill their higher spiritual self with material things. It's a temporary dopamine fix. That's all it is. Shopping is a dopamine hit to the brain. 
because it feels good to spend money. When you've got the money and you can spend it, it feels good because it's like a reward. You are rewarding and treating yourself, but this person I feel does it a little bit too much. Or that could be you, Scorpio, because you know, with here in the United States, Black Friday sales, okay, watch your spending. Watch your spending. Don't overdo it. Some of you may need to reevaluate who you're actually giving gifts out to this holiday season. Has everybody really truly been there for you in the past? Have they given you a gift? I get it, you know, you want to be the bigger person or try to outdo something or someone with bigger gifts. That could very well be true. And for some of you, it's not true, okay? But, <clears throat> excuse me, this chest congestion is working its way out. I think it's going to take one more week, um, but I'm not in pain, thank God. So this person is hiding behind material things. They're probably going to end up going shopping or overindulging, splurging. Um, you know, a lot of people, the night before Thanksgiving, they go out and drink. That's a huge thing. Um, I used to do that back in the day. I don't do that anymore. Not to say like I never, ever, ever would go out again. It's just, it's the energy, man. It's the energy. I mean, honestly, after I leave a bar, I I'm drained. Because I'm absorbing and as the years have gone on and my intuition has increased and you're going to notice this too, Scorpio, if you start to tap more into your higher self, your divine awareness and consciousness, you're going to start to feel everybody's energy and you're just going to be like, get me the F home because I need to go home. I need to relax. I got to get away from these people. You know, and there's nothing worse than sloppy ass drunks the day before Thanksgiving. Okay. It's just, yeah, no. Anyway, <laughs> something is going to balance itself out by Friday, whatever that is to you, Scorpio, or it could be this person, or they're going to get it together or maybe pull something together here. Um, reconciliation energy coming up again. What is the hidden truth of temperance, please? This healing, cleansing, renewal, reconciliation, a balancing act. What is this? The timing just wasn't right for us. So this person is in reflection now. It's like because the energies were discombobulated and they might have been juggling you and somebody else, or they were hiding behind material things, being around, and remember, we saw that Seven of Cups. They could have been around confusing people, people who are not highly, divinely awakened, all of that. So something here, the timing of something is going to get balanced out for some of you guys by the end of the week. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. If you're wanting to open up your intuition, Scorpio, I think what would be helpful or beneficial is get yourself a clean notebook and only dedicate it to signs and synchronicities. If you get a thought, a vision, you see numbers, you see um, something or a symbol or somebody says something, write it down down with the date that it happened. Okay. And because there's signs and synchronicities every day, sometimes we're just not always consciously awakened to every single thing that is around us. Okay. So write it down. Cause a lot of you guys are supposed to be tapping more into this energy and become fully awakened, okay? Um, they're saying the timing just wasn't right, or Spirit is saying the timing just wasn't right between you and this person. See, on the bottom of the deck, this person is very confident and self-assured that you two are going to be back together again, or that you two are going to see one another. Message from the two of pentacles, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This person has been hiding behind material things. They need to get 
control. They need to get control for some of them. They need to get control over their addictions. They need to go to rehab for some of them. Um, also too, free yourself from the hustle and bustle. Be sure to take time out with this holiday season to regroup, reflect, and relax. Okay. Because everybody's energy is getting so tense to make preparations. They're all busy squirrels. Okay. Everybody's trying to be a busy squirrel and get things done and, you know, for some people, entertain people that they don't want to entertain for the holidays. Okay. Let's just be real. And for others, yeah, I sincerely hope you actually do have a really great family and um, that you actually do have a really good time with your family. Um, but yeah, a lot of people put on a show and tell front when it comes to the holidays. Okay. So try not to get sapped into the aggression over the next, I'd say about six weeks here from this point forward to the end of the year, or at least until, you know, to the Christmas time frame, for those of you who celebrate Christmas or even Hanukkah for that matter, try not to get caught up in all of this aggressive energy that happens during this time frame. Balance yourself out. Work on your goals, work on your projects, okay? So free yourself. Let's take a look at temperance. What is the hidden truth of this person with temperance? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for those of you who walked away from this person, the moment you did that and showed you had self-respect, it made you flat out black and white, like the card says. It did make you more attractive. You need to know that. Even if they're being silent with you, even if they're preparing to come forward unto you, and the reason why they would come forward unto you, remember, we had the attraction card that came up. Because you're doing your own thing, Scorpio. You're doing your own thing. And this person also needs to walk away again from the people that no longer serve their highest purpose. They're being loyal to the wrong people. They're being loyal to the wrong people. So something here is going to try to get balanced out before the end of the week, or you, Scorpio, as an individual outside of this person, you're going to feel more grounded. Or, like I said, if this is about balancing out your finances, um, your dreams, your goals, again, restructuring this week in order to make a bigger impact, either in the month of December of 2022 or to help you to get hit the ground running in January of 2022, okay, then do so. Focus in on you this week. I get it. You know, holidays are here this week, but it's going to boil back down to you again and your attitude, your character, your behavior, how you think or feel about this person or this person wanting to reach out or extend an olive branch or wanting to reconcile or tell you that they love you. I do feel that some of them may even tell you that they love you this week. I mean, they're again, they're, they're confident that you two are going to be together again. I wish I could take back my words. So somebody said something that they didn't mean. I feel like they regret. Okay. So Scorpio cross watchers. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers for your specific situation, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, my awesome and amazing Scorpios, Take care.